Welcome back, fourth grade. Before we get started on our lesson today, I would like us to get a warm up in. So if you could make sure you have enough space ready to go, make sure you have a water bottle nearby. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, class, let's get started with our warm up. We're going to go ahead and start with 20 jumping jacks. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, now we're gonna do those suicide drills we learned last week, okay? So don't forget, you're gonna go to one side, touch the ground, go to the other side, touch the ground, and you try to stay within your space. All right, ready, begin. Next one you are going to do are the mummy kicks from last week. Now remember, with the mummy kicks, you want your arms straight out in front of you with your palms facing down, and your legs and your arms are going to be doing two different things at the same time, all right? Your feet are going to be kicking out like so, and then your arms are going to be crossing back and forth. Go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of stretching in. So our first stretch, we are going to be stretching our hamstrings. Now your hamstrings are this back part of your leg here. And so you're gonna feel the stretch on the back of your legs. And so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart and you are going to keep your legs straight and you are going to slowly try and reach for the floor. Now do not forget to breathe because I'm gonna take a deep breath in and then when you exhale, that'll help you stretch a little further every time. So on the inhale, I want you to hold it. So you're gonna inhale and you're gonna hold that stretch and then on the exhale, you are going to push a little further. All right, so let's stretch out our hamstrings. Go ahead and start reaching down and we're going to inhale and exhale, stretch a little further. Inhale, and exhale. Feel yourself stretch a little further. Last one, inhale, and exhale. All right, our next stretch we are going to do is going to be our quadriceps. Uh, stretch and so for your quadriceps, you're just gonna call them quads for now. When we stretch our quads, that is going to be this large muscle on the front of your legs. So that is what we are going to stretch. Now, what you can do is you can try to just balance by yourself, but if you need something to hold on to, you can have a chair and you can hold it with your other hand. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pull your foot towards your back you want to make sure your knee is pointed down towards the floor. All right, and once again, you're going to feel it stretch right here on the quadricep. Breathe in and breathe out. Stretch a little further. Breathe in and breathe out. One last time. Breathe in and breathe out. All right, now let's try the other side, same thing. You wanna hold your leg up behind you, and then you're going to point your knee towards the ground, and breathe in, and out. Breathe in, breathe out.
again, breathe in and breathe out. All right, our next stretch, you are going to need to get on the floor for this stretch. And what it is going to be is, it is going to stretch what we like to call your glutes. All right, that's your, your bottom. So you're gonna cross, you're gonna bend one knee like we did last week. You're gonna cross that foot over to that side and you're gonna hug that knee with this arm. And then this other hand, you can use it to brace yourself on the ground and help yourself turn a little bit more into the stretch. And you should be feeling that on your glutes, okay? So go ahead and breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. All right, same with the other side. You wanna bend that knee. Your foot goes over to the other side. Hug your knee. Use the floor as leverage. And you're gonna to start to twist. Once again, you're gonna feel that stretch in your glutes. All right, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. All right, our last stretch we are going to do for today is going to be our downward dog stretch. Now remember, in the downward dog stretch, you're gonna place your hands on the ground and your feet flat on the ground while you're in the shape of an upside down V. Okay, so go ahead and place your hands down and Lift your bottom up, upside down V. All right, class, so last week we worked on cardiovascular endurance, and that is one of the five fitness concepts that we are learning about, okay? So our cardiovascular endurance, let's just remind ourselves, it, those exercises involve the heart and the lungs, and it's where the, they're working hard for a long period of time. And when we work, do a cardiovascular endurance activity, our goal is to go and increase that cardiovascular endurance. In other words, we want our heart and our lungs and our body to last even longer and even longer every time that we do one of those workouts, okay? So we're building up that endurance. So today, our fitness concept that, concept that we are working on is called muscular strength, all right? So as you can see, muscular strength. We are going to be working on that today and um, muscular strength exercise is any exercise where you are making your muscles stronger. We're trying to build them up so that they are nice and strong. So that means that these exercises will involve some type of weight, whether it is your body weight or it is an actual thing in your hand that has a certain weight that you are holding and using to build these muscles. So you will learn a little bit more about that as we continue. Uh, but before we go and we start learning about these muscular strength exercises, I would like you all to get, gather a couple of things around the house that you will be able to use. So one thing you will need is a chair, okay? Another thing you will need is your bottle of water because we have to stay hydrated. Uh, the third thing you will need is a uh, like a shampoo bottle or a lotion bottle. Let me show you what I have. So I have this sanitizer hand sanitizing bottle, okay? So I have two of them that I'm going to use. And so it's a nice little weight, but it's something I can grab and I can hold in my hand. So that's one thing we are going to use for exercises. So like I said, it could be a shampoo bottle, lotion bottle, something that you can hold in your hand that has a little weight to it, but it's not too much, okay? The next thing I have is a milk carton. 
Now this is something you may not have today, but that's okay because you can go and do this exercise anytime you want. But what this is going to be is when you are finished with your milk carton at home and it is empty, I want you to go and have your parents help you with this and make sure you ask permission. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna wash it out with some dish soap and rinse it out really good. And then you can fill it up with water. So you can fill it up all the way to the top. You can fill it up halfway. You can fill it up just a little, whatever you would like. But we're going to need to use something that has a little weight to it, but has a handle. Okay, so those are two different things that you will need for your exercises today. All right, let's get started. All right, class, it's time for our first muscular strength exercise. Uh, most of my students who have done this before, and these are called squats. So let me go over the instructions because there are some safety instructions you need to know so that you don't end up hurting yourself. But when you do squats, you want to start with your feet about shoulder width apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to point our, toy, our toes out where it's just a little bit. So as you saw, my toes just went out. And then what you are going to do is when we squat down, you want to scoot your bottom back as if you are trying to sit in a seat back there. Okay, now here's the safety instructions. Do not let your knees go in front of your toes. So in other words, if your knees go in front of your toes like that, that is not good. Your knees need to stay behind your toes, as you can see here. And let me show you a side view so you can see what I mean. If your knees go in front of your toes, that's not good, that's really bad. But what you wanna do is you want your knees to stay behind your toes. You wanna to scoot your bottom back so it's like you are sitting in a chair, all right? So we squat back. As you see, my knees are staying behind my toes. And forward, all right? Let's do 10 of those. Down and up. One, down and up. Two, down and up. Three, down and up, four, down, and up, five, down, and up, six, down, and up, seven, down, and up, eight, down, and up, nine, down, and up, 10. So those are squats. For this next exercise, you are going to want to find something around the house that you can hold in your hand where it's not too heavy, but it's enough to where you can get a workout in. So for instance, I have two bottles of hand sanitizer here. Maybe you have some bottles of shampoo or conditioner or lotion, uh, whatever you can find that you think would work decently, but I'm gonna use these two bottles and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand with my feet shoulder width apart like we've been doing, and we are going to do what is called lateral raises, okay? So when you do a lateral raise, you want to keep your, your arms straight. You don't have to lock them, but you can keep them somewhat straight. And then you're going to slightly bend your knees, but keep your back straight. And you are going to just lift them up and down. Once again, you're gonna lift it up so that your arms are straight out and down. These are called lateral raises. This is a muscular strength exercise. You are working your shoulders. You are making them stronger. All right, so let's get those bottles, hold them down. All right, ready and up and down. One, up and down. Two, up and down. Three, up and down. Four, up and down. Five, up and down. Six, up and down. Seven, up and down. Eight, up and down. Nine, up and down. 10. So just a reminder, those are lateral raises and that is working out your shoulders. All right. So far, we have learned two different muscular strength exercises. 
we worked on squats. Actually, we worked on three exercises. The first one was squats, which worked our lower body. We did lunges, which also worked out our lower body. And now we're trying to work out our upper body and get some muscular strength and want to make it stronger. Okay, so one way we're going to do that now, we already worked out our shoulders. Now we're going to work out what is called our biceps, all right? So when people go and they say, show me your biceps, show me your muscles, okay? That's the muscle we are going to be working on now. So same thing as before, you want to go and find a couple of different uh, bottles, whether it's shampoo, conditioner, lotion, get creative, but make sure it's something that is not gonna break, it's not gonna make a mess, but you just, you know, talk with your parents, find out the best option. But what we're gonna do now is we're going to do what is called bicep curls. Now when we do bicep curls, what you're going to do is you are going to have your arms by your side with your elbows tucked into your side. And you're just going to move your arms right here at the elbow. All right, you are going to lift up and down. Up and down. One, up and down. Two, up and down. Three, up and down. Four, up and down. Five, up and down. Six, up and down. Seven, up and down. Eight, up and down. Nine, up and down. Ten. Great job. Once again, those are bicep curls. For this next exercise, you are going to want something that has a nice little handle. So I think a milk carton would be your best option. Now, obviously you may want to wait on doing this exercise until you have finished using your milk carton at home. But once you're finished using it and it's empty, you want to go in and have your parents help you, but clean it with some dish soap and some water, clean it real good and rinse it out. And then you are going to want to fill it up with water. Now you can fill it up all the way to the top. You can fill it up halfway. You can fill it up just a little bit. It kind of just depends on how heavy you want it to be. All right, so for this next exercise, we're going to use something with a handle because we are going to be pulling and we need something to grip. All right, so we also will need a chair for this next one. So I'm gonna have this chair set up right here. And these are called bent over rows, okay? Now bent over row is where you are going to place one arm on the chair so that you are bent over and you wanna keep your back nice and straight like we've talked about before. But what you're gonna do is you're going to have that bent over row and you are going to hold your milk carton or whatever carton you are using and you're going to just pull straight up so that your arm is straight with your back and down, and up, and down. All right, do ahead and do that for 10 reps. And go up and down, four, up and down, five, up and down, six, up and down, seven, up and down, eight, up and down, nine, up and down, 10. Now we're gonna do this same thing, but we have to even it out. We have to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so once again, you're gonna place your other arm on the table. You wanna keep your arm or your back nice and straight, and you're going to go up and down. One, up and down. Two, up and down. Three, up and down. Four, up and down. Five, up and down. Six, up and down, seven, up and down, eight, up and down, nine, up and down, 10. So once again, those are called bent over rows and those are working our back, okay? So very good job on that one. All right, great job class. Now that we are finished with our muscular strength exercises, I would like you all to make sure you click on the quiz that is inside your Google Classroom and answer the few questions that I have for you on there about muscular strength. 
You all did wonderful today and have a wonderful week. Bye.